The tropical cowboy woke up in a cold sweat, gasping for air. He had been dreaming again. This time it was about Freddy Krueger, the infamous dream demon who terrorized his victims in their sleep. Welcome the cowboy had never encountered air. anything like this before. He was used to dealing with real-life dangers like snakes and crocodiles, but this was different. He got out of bed and went to his kitchen to pour himself a glass of water. As he took a sip, he looked out the window and saw that it was still dark outside. He knew that he wouldn't be able to go back to sleep, so he decided to go for a walk. The tropical cowboy lived in a small cabin on the outskirts of Cairns. It was surrounded by rainforest and wildlife. He enjoyed the peace and quiet of living in nature. But tonight, he couldn't shake off the feeling that something was off. As he walked through the forest, he heard strange noises in the distance. It sounded like someone was laughing, but there was something sinister about it. The cowboy quickened his pace, his heart racing. Suddenly, he saw a figure in the distance. It was Freddy Krueger. The demon was standing in the middle of a clearing, his gloved hand waving menacingly. The tropical cowboy knew that he had to face his fears. He couldn't let the dream demon control him. He approached Freddy Krueger, his hand on his Winchester 1873.4440 rifle. What do you want? He asked, his voice steady. I want to play, Freddy Krueger replied, his voice dripping with malice. The cowboy lifted his rifle and aimed it at the demon. I don't play games with monsters, he said. Freddy Krueger laughed. You can't hurt me, tropical cowboy. I am the master of dreams. Your bullets are useless against me. The cowboy wasn't so sure about that. He had faced dangerous animals and criminals before, but this was different. He took a deep breath and fired his rifle. The bullet hit Freddy Krueger in the chest, but it didn't seem to phase him. The demon laughed again. Is that all you've got? The cowboy knew that he had to think fast. He remembered the stories he had heard about how to defeat Freddy Krueger. I know your weakness, he said. Freddy Krueger stopped laughing. What weakness? You're afraid of fire, the cowboy said. Freddy Krueger looked at him suspiciously. That's just a myth. The cowboy reached into his pocket and pulled out a box of matches. He struck one and threw it at Freddy Krueger. The demon shrieked as the flame caught hold of his clothes. He disappeared in a cloud of smoke, leaving the cowboy alone in the clearing. The tropical cowboy felt a sense of relief wash over him. He had faced his fear and come out on top. He turned around and started walking back to his cabin. He knew that he wouldn't be having any more nightmares tonight. As he walked, he felt a sense of pride. He was the tropical cowboy, and he could handle anything that came his way. Welcome to my nightmare.